we have a wee bit of industrial heritage. It's a wee bit of industrial archaeology that's still in Belfast. It's only a small piece. It's not a huge building. It's not something that will get a massive grant and all towards it. It's just something that four friends from the friends at Niels Hill have decided to do. We're standing here today at the site of the former Neils Hill railway station on the Belfast and County Down Railway, as was. Uh, we are approximately two and a half miles out of Belfast here, thereabouts, en route to Cumber and Newton Arts, which was the original line that was created. In the early 60s, I used to play along this platform, and you were able to walk from one end right to the, the far end and it was in pristine condition then. That was almost 60 years ago. It then became neglected, and people started just dumping stuff in it and sort of, it started all collapsing. Something happened here six years ago. Uh, my son came down here and uh, took his own life. There's a little memorial along the Greenway where it happened. So I would come down here quite often. And just as I was passing the platform here, it was completely covered with undergrowth and um, it started to collapse. And so I mean, this is going to completely disappear the way it is at this end. Just, and we're not going to have any anymore. So I started to take it back a bit and expose the, the top stone. There was hardly anything there at all and started to, to clean the wall up every time I was coming down. The more I, I took it back, the more the, the, the platform started to appear. It was fantastic to see it. In the summer last year we started to clear the um, shrubs and the land above it, above the green. We uncovered the brickwork. This year we got a wee digger in and we cleared a bit more. Neil's Hill has always been a favourite of mine because I grew up here. I set up a Facebook group called Friends of Neil's Hill and it's now gathered about 200 friends on who actually are very keen on it because when you speak to people who walk along this road and you ask them, did you know there's a railway here? They actually say, yes we do because we played on it as well. So from 55 onwards, a lot of people played, played on this and walked on this. Looking through family photographs, I found photographs taken in my back garden where my father has been playing with my, my brother. And in the background, you can see the chimneys and the roof of the station building. The railway started in 1845. And the first line was opened between Belfast and Hollywood in 1848. And shortly after that, the line from Belfast to Newton Ards was developed through here and to Cumber and Newton Ards, and it was opened by 1850. And after that, they developed a line through to Newcastle, all the way through Ballygar and St. Field Cross Guard down Patrick and onto Newcastle, as well as an extension to Donacadee. It wasn't until about 1890 that uh, because of the increase in urbanisation of the area uh, that a station was proposed to be built here. Um, what you had is uh, at that stage from about the mid 18, late 1850s onwards that explosion in, in the inhabitants of Belfast as the industry took off and everyone was coming into the country and that so what you have is the middle class as the urbanisation moving out from the centre and you would get a lot of building coming up the what is that now the Upper Newton Arch Road, and there would have been a lot of uh, villas and that you can look up if you go up to like Sandra and you see Holland Park, all those villas 
that are up and around there, those were all built about that stage uh, as sort of the, the, that sort of uh, upper middle class sort of started moving out of the city centre. It was actually a very, very busy railway in its day. Um, what happened to it? Well, essentially what happened to it was the uh, First World War came and went, obviously. But after that, there was a growth, a major growth in road traffic uh, with lorries, cars, etc., private transport, charabangs, buses, all of that. Uh, and that had a major effect upon the railways, not just this railway, but all the railways in Ulster. Nineteen forty odd, there was a very serious accident at Ballymacarrot when um, a train crashed and a lot of people were killed. And with the compensation, there was a lot. Um, it, it basically was the end of Belfast and County Down Railway. They had really old stock and they had um, they, they just couldn't survive. So when it came to nineteen fifty, the government as well closed down pretty much all of the Belfast and County Down Railway, and um, left us with track growing, um, nature growing through the track and so on that way. In 1955 they started to lift all the track and basically left all the infrastructure. And this is what we have here now. We have the platform, we've only a remnant now of Neil Cell platform. Um, that's the only infrastructure now left of the old Belfast County Down Railway. Speaking personally, they should never have taken the railway away. It was a major, major mistake in the 1950s. And the government of the day was totally focused on road transport. So no future in railways. I just wanted rid of them, and it, it fell victim. It wasn't the only one. Lots of railways all over Ireland fell into the same position. It's just the way it is, and it's, it's too late now, really, to go back to it. But personally speaking, I would love to see steam trains up here again, yes. As you can see here behind us is the actual uh, platform, the, the up platform, as it's called. That's the direction of Belfast. Uh, you can see the, the top stones. Uh, but you can't actually see the coping stones that was on top of that. There was another layer of crisscross hatching stonework, which was a, a trademark of the, of the Belfast and County Down Railway. Uh, behind that, you can see uh, original fencing that we've uncovered that appeared out of the undergrowth. It's in a pretty poor state, but you can see But part of our plan is to try and restore that and make that into better form. And behind me again, just right behind me here, is an old gateway. Uh, that gate is what used to be a pedestrian access to the platform from Sandown Gardens. There used to be a walkway through for people to come up onto the platform. And as you can see, it's gone. The gate itself is gone. But again, we hope to restore that. Northern Ireland Water were working last year uh, for about six months up at Knock and up at Knock Station. And in Knoxdish, when they were clearing away all their stuff for digging their big hole and making, digging their sewer, they actually found some rail from the old County Down Railway and um, they found a couple of other pieces and we actually got that rail and we brought it into storage. We got a small piece of rail and we got a small, so many bits of um, the sleepers, the wooden sleepers below it and we laid it out last year. It got some lovely photographs on it, featured on Twitter, featured on the um, BBC Radio Ulster. They were interested in to find the original bits from the track. There was some original sleepers still lying about, so there's still a lot of stuff to be discovered along this original track. Pretty much between 1955 when the track was lifted and 1970, 1980, there was no plans for here. Uh, there was always talk for, of um, wanting to bring the railway back to here or wanting to bring light trams, light railway they call it. The next stage they were planning for was before the trouble started, was for a big huge motorway complex um, throughout the whole of the, the whole of Belfast, this would have actually been come the M7 out towards Newtonards, uh, Cumber and Newtonards, and it would have seen de demolition of Sandhill Gardens. It would have seen demolition of everything around here. We would have had a low-level motorway in this way. But unfortunately, the troubles came along, and that put away that line. 10, 20 years later, they decided that we would have a um, busway. Um, we've now got the glider system on the Upper Newton Arts Road. Everyone using the Greenway, they don't realise the, the significance of what it is. It's not just a path that's uh, to be enjoyed, but the history of, of how it came to be and, and, and that. Some people have said, well, why not just leave it there? Um, um, it'll always be there. But 
what I wanted, what I wanted plan was the Greenway wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the railway. Um, when the people were designing the Greenway, they put interpretive boards up, and they don't mention the great, they don't mention the railway. But if it wasn't for the railway, they wouldn't have got the Greenway. Greenway, I'm for Greenways. I don't have any problem with Greenways. There is actually um, a major debate raging throughout Ireland at the present time amongst railway preservation groups about Greenways and their taking over old lines. Um, some people would rather see them restored to railways, but realistically, at least if there's a Greenway, it's preserving something. Um, but if you don't have the Greenway, the chances are it'll just fall into total dis disrepair. It'll be taken over by adjacent landovers, you know, what they call, I think, what adverse possession. And you can just take it, and after a year and a half or whatever, it's yours. And then you never get a railway back, you know. So as long as Greenways exist, there's a chance. But Greenways themselves teach people about what was there before, if you know, proper signage, etc. is put up. Our plan is to keep it clear, maybe lay down a bit more sleepers, uh, half sleepers, but a well, bit of the rail, try and secure it some way so that it's, that it's not stolen again. Maybe put a sign up, we want to try and get a signage up. A sign basically just says, my preference is a sign that just says Neil's Hill. Um, maybe if we had funding somehow through lottery or through a generous person, we could have a sign saying Bloomfield Station, Neil's Hill, St Neil's Hill, Knock and Dundonald, and that would be four signs for this route. And all it would do would signify that there used to be four railway stations along this route. Perhaps we could maybe get some seating for the people who use the Greenway. Um, I know the cyclists who use it at the minute have maybe stopped now that it's been cleared and use it a little rest and seat in that there. While it has been of a great benefit to people in walking their dogs or cycling and, and, and just generally walking and getting out and getting that exercise and fresh air that we're all so much encouraged to do. Um, but perhaps maybe something could be done about um, some of the wee small light trains that you'd see, perhaps the likes of the Titanic Puffer, that maybe during the summer months could be operating down, back and forward along the railway. Well, I can imagine, you know, if they restored the, each station and then had a little train coming down from Cumber, right from Cumber Square into the shopping centre at Conswater. And um, it would be a major tourist attraction, you know, up and down. You know, especially in the summer, summer months, it'd be fantastic to see. And stopping at all the little stations, you know, with the signs, letting people on, letting people off, and it'd be great, great to see. Oh, in 20 or 30 years' time, what could be here? <laughs> Personally, I would like to see rail back here, but that's taking away the Cumber Greenway. I, I, I do appreciate it's a valuable piece of it's a valuable piece of land for people who for cyclists and for walkers and so on that way. The Department of Communities widened this to make it a one um, a shared pathway for that way, and I would see it continuing that way. Uh, the glider system is is the system that Belfast has chosen it's going to be it's going to be the one it's going to be there for many many years so this is going to continue as a greenway hopefully with the restoration uh, uh, well as much as we can restore that that, that and, and get signage up it will help to uh, give some more education to, to the area to the fact that the railway was here and what it did and, and that, that that's add to that story of Belfast and the urbanization and the growing expansion of the city Thank you.